hello. I'm just about to do an oil change on my uh, 2015 Bullet B5. Um, I've got all the necessary bits and pieces together. I've got my oil, uh, oil filter, the O-rings, etc., copper washers, uh, the tools to do the job, um, an old milk carton which I split to put old oil in, uh, a refill container so as I can measure it, a measuring jug, and another old empty milk carton which I can actually pour the milk, uh, oil into and uh, take it up the tip with that. Um, I've pre-warmed the engine. I've started up and ran it for about 10 minutes just to get it nice and hot uh, and I'm now just going to start to drain the oil to start with. The main drain plug is this one here at the back of the engine underneath the bar that goes across. Uh, it takes a 19 millimeter socket so I should be undoing that first to start the main drain. So I've just loosened it slightly first now I'm going to put my my little carton underneath to catch the oil. It's a good idea as you undo the drain plug to hold it actually in place until it's completely ready to come out otherwise you're going to get oil all down your arm. Now mine is now loose I'm just going to take it away quickly and it drops straight down as you can see I'll just move it here so as you can see it there you go you can see it just draining straight into the middle of the pan on the later B5 models, uh, I believe from about 2012 on, there is also an additional front drain plug. If I just move this forward, and it's this one here, and that is a 12 millimeter socket. Okay, I'm just going to undo this one. I'm not going to take it out completely at the moment because it's a little bit awkward doing this with the camera in the way. So just a little loosen. And I'm just going to wait until the rear one finishes draining before I do the front one because it's not long enough to catch both. I'm just going to give it a wipe round there, a little bit of dirt. While waiting for the oil to, to drain, I've just uh, given the, the magnetic tip a really good clean. Uh, there was nothing on it, so luckily there's no swarf anywhere. So while I'm here, I'm just going to take off the washer. Almost have to unscrew it because where it's been flattened. That's the old washer. I shall put that to one side. I shall throw that in the drain bit for the now. Give it just another good clean around the thread area. And pop the new copper washer on. That is now ready. That's now ready to go back in once I've finished draining. So I'm going to put that next to the tools. Then I won't forget to do that, hopefully. So just before I um, do anything else, I'm just going to tilt the bike uh, backwards a little bit on its centre stand and from side to side to make sure that any uh, sort of oil which is to the side of the engine uh, moves towards the middle. So I'm just going to tilt it a bit towards me. does not appear to be anything coming out of there. I'm going to tilt it away from me. There's a few extra little drips coming out. Stand it back down. I'm just going to tilt it back on the centre stand as well. The next thing I'm going to do is remove the front drain plug and let that drain now. So I've already loosened it again as before. I'm just going to keep pushing it into the hole until I know it's completely free. And then just once that's done, just pull it away and you don't get too much oil all down your arm then. You can see, as you can see there's quite a lot more oil coming out. And I think that's why the later models had that additional drain plug. So as before, I'm just going to wipe off the drain plug itself, fit the new washer, and I shall be putting those back in in just a moment. The next piece to come off is this cover here. It's got two 8mm bolts. So I'm just going to undo that. Again, you'll probably get a little bit of oil out of here. This is the gauze. It's like a gauze filter in there. So I'm gonna, as I said, they're eight millimeter. With the torque settings of these fittings, um, the manual says the main drain plug is 20 newton meters, but there doesn't appear to be a figure 
um, anywhere for these gauze filter and the front one. So I'm I'm just going to tighten them up nice and snugly. I've been doing this for quite a long time over the years and I've never had a problem with a drain plug come loose or strip. So uh, famous last words but hopefully that should uh, be okay. Just going to undo that one. And I need both. So here we have the gauze filter which I shall spray with some air cleaner. As you can see there's a little bit of muck on it. Spray it with some brake cleaner and the cover. So I'm going to give them both a good clean and I'm going to replace that O-ring and then I'll come back to do the rest in a moment. So the oil filter to come out now. Um, I've placed some rag underneath because I'm bound to get some coming down. We've got three 8mm bolts with this one. Now there's a spring behind here. So is when you actually come to take it off you need to hold it it'll start to push away there's the oil coming out make sure there's a rags in place I'm just going to loosen all the bolts first right just need to press in the middle there while I undo the three bolts for that so I'm now pushing with the thumb to stop that springing away I'm just going to release it carefully. Okay. So there's the actual cover come off. There's the spring, as I said. There's an O-ring there. There's another big O-ring there. And I do believe there might be one under there, which I'm going to have a look for in a minute. But I'll come back to that in a moment. I'm just going to remove the uh, oil filter. There's also an O-ring. The old oil filter. I'm going to put that to one side. Again, just be careful because there'll be some oil in there. There's a there's a, an O-ring right at the back there. There. So I'm going to take that out. And then the next thing I'm going to do with lint-free cloth, I'm going to give this all a good wipe out. right down to the very back. Fingers are just long enough. Right, so this is the cover. We have three O-rings on here. We have the large one. This is the new one. I've just removed the old one from there. The large one in this ring here. We have two, we have two others. One fixes on there and the other one goes into the far end of the um, place where the oil filter goes that's the one I took out last now there is a fourth small o-ring and to get to it you have to use an allen key and you undo this nut on the end of this where the sprig is just hold that down okay I think I'm going to need to undo that all the way I'm trying to do it so as you can see what I'm doing I just make a note of the order that these come off because obviously they've got to be back on right. Okay, so I'm just going to lift the whole bolt out. All right, so we have the copper, the big flat copper thing with a dish, sort of the bit pointing out at the top as a washer. And underneath there is that little O-ring which I just showed you. Just excuse me while this noisy um, car goes by. Sometimes he does that around about seven o'clock in the morning. Right, so I'm just going to give this a wipe. So the new O-ring goes into that little dish bit there, then the washer, and then that pushes on against the spring, and the washer has to go down. Okay, I think the easiest way to do this is to put the bolt back in. I just and start it going. Now as you tighten the washer as you tighten the washer centralizes 
Just make sure it's all lined up and don't squash the o-ring which is in there. Just make sure it's central and then the spring will go all the way down and then this bolt will tighten up right to the right to the bottom and again the bolt goes into the hole in the middle Got to get it just right in place. Just get a nice, nice little tweak. Now you should have it like that. If there is a gap here and that is loose, then you haven't got that all lined up correctly in there. Okay. So the O-rings, the large new one fixes into the bottom and the other two you need a bit of grease to stick that on there that holds it in place so I'm going to put some grease on there and the other o-ring I'm now going to push right into the back of the oil filter housing so I'm going to push it in squarely up to the back Just make sure it doesn't fall down. In fact, I'm going to put a little bit of grease on that as well. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. Just to hold it in place. A bit fiddly because it wants to stick to your fingers as well. I will double check that with a torch uh, to make sure it's seated properly before I put the oil filter in. Um, now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to refit all the drain plugs. Um, before I can actually put the oil filter in, I need to um, soak it in clean, fresh oil for about 15 minutes, what you call charge it. Um, and then I'll come back to it when I put that back on. So I'm going to refit the two drain plugs the gauze filter, as I said, um, the drain plug, the main one should be 20 newton meters, but my torque wrench doesn't go down that low. Um, and the other two uh, nuts, the other ones, don't have anything specified. So all I'm going to do there is just tighten them up nice and tightly. I'm not going to heave on them because obviously we don't want to strip the threads. And the next thing I'll be doing is coming back and uh, showing you how to put the filter cover back on. Right, so I'm just going to pour some oil into my um, measuring jerk. Just enough to cover my oil filter. Take that off, put the cover back on. Now I use um, what Hitchcock's uh, Royal Enfield Specialist recommend. Silkaline Comp for 1550. That's what I did the last time when I did the oil filter and change. So um, it's been fine. So I'm going to use that. This is a new oil filter. Now I'm just going to drop it in there. And what I'm going to do while that's charging, I'm going to go off and have some lunch. I'm just going to cover it up just so I don't get any muck in there. And then um, I'll come back to you in a little while um, to show you how to refit the filter and then refill with oil. So catch you shortly. Okay, it's time now to get the oil filter out, which I'm just going to do here. I'm just going to hold it just while the excess oil drains off. Just before I go ahead and refit the oil filter, I'm just going to show you in there, you can see the O-ring standing up at the far end. And that's what you've got to make sure that it's in place before you fit the oil filter in. So as you can see on the cover, the O-rings are in place. And I've now greased that just to hold it on the end of there to make sure it's in the right place. So the next job is to push the filter in. and then push the cover on and as, I, as you did before you push it in and hold it while you get the bolts in place again um, I don't think there's any torque settings specified for these again and so I will just nip them up like I did before Just tighten them up snugly. Uh, then I shall put some oil in the bike. Uh, 
Incidentally, when I um, refitted all the drain plugs, and again with this, uh, before you put the drain plug back in, just wipe round the area where the drain plug goes, make sure it's nice and clean, uh, because obviously you don't want any dirt uh, getting in the way and causing it not to seal properly. I'm going to do these up diagonally, and then tighten them up very, very gently. I say diagonally, you can't really sort of... Right, okay, so I'm just going to pinch it, pinch it, pinch it. Now I'm not going to do any snatching when I'm doing these bolts up, so I'm just going to tweak it a little bit more, feel it up nice and snug. And that should be okay now. I'm going to give everything a good wipe down, because if there are any leaks after I've started the bike up, I will see them straight away. So the next stage is to refill with oil. Now the oil filter capacity on this bike is 2.75 litres. That is when the engine has been stripped and rebuilt. Now after an oil and filter change, um, the manual states around about 2.5 litres. So what I'm going to do, initially I'm going to fill the oil up until I get it to the high mark on the filler level. No further. Then I'm going to put the cap back on. Uh, incidentally, I didn't get a new uh, O-ring for that, so I'm going to have to use the old one. I'm also going to make sure this is clean. Uh, once I've done that, I'm going to start the bike up and let it run for two or three minutes. Then I'm going to switch it off and let the oil settle, and then I shall top up any more is necessary. So the next stage is to top up, refill with the oil. Now, I have only got a fairly small funnel, so this is going to take a little while. So it's now up to the level mark. I'm just going to put the cover back on, the cap back on. Now they're going to run it for five minutes or two or three minutes uh, just to get the oil circulating and then allow it to settle and then check it again. And there we are, that's the final oil level. Um, I ran it for a few minutes, left it standing for all, a minute or two, uh, topped it back up, let it run again and let it run back down uh, till it's finished. And it's actually it's just crept up a little bit but that seems to be quite normal on this i've had that before so there we are all done now i'm uh, ready to go and take it for a little spin and i will check the oil again when i get back just to be on the safe side thanks very much for watching bye